In this video, we will solve systems of equations using the substitution method. As you fill out your Cornell notes for this, keep in mind to use that left-hand margin for labels, types of problems, and extra notes that you want to make. So let's talk about what substitution method is. It's going to be a method for solving systems of equations by substituting equations within each other. We're going to follow these steps as we do each problem with the substitution method. The first step is to solve one of the equations in the system for either x or y. And notice I have this big box into the little box here. We're going to use those as an organizational tool so we know what we're substituting where. And this step one is actually going to give us what our big box is. Step two, we're going to substitute the expression we got in step one into the other equation. That's going to be our little box. So the big box is going to get substituted into the little box. And then we're going to solve for the variable that's left. So after step two, we will have one of the variables solved for. Then step three is to substitute your answer from step two back into one of the equations to solve for the other variable. And then we state our solution. So let's see what that looks like. For this system of equations, we have x plus 3y equals negative 15 and y is equal to negative 7. So step 1 says to solve one of the equations for either x or y. Notice that y equals negative 7 already has the y isolated. So step 1 is actually done for us. Now we need to follow step 2. We know that y is equal to negative 7. So to follow step 2, we're going to substitute negative 7 into the other equation. So what that's going to look like here is x plus 3, and instead of the y, we're substituting in the negative 7. Now we have an equation with only one variable instead of 2. So we can solve the resulting equation for the variable, and that's the end of step 2. We do, do not have to substitute um, back in because we already know what the y value is. We already know that the y value is negative 7. So our solution is 6, negative 7. This next problem is an on your own problem with the system x equals negative 2 and 3x minus 2y equals negative 18. Let's see an example where we actually use the big box and little box. So step one says to solve one of the equations in the system for either x or y. Notice the first equation in the system already has y by itself. So that in step one becomes our big box. Our big box is going to get substituted into the other equation for the variable. So y is equal to 6x. So our big box is going to be substituted for our little box. So in the second equation, we see 2x plus 3y, but instead of y, we're going to put the 6x in. Where that's the substitution that's happening. So now we see the, the equation that we've got left. We only have an x in that equation. So we can solve this equation for x. We're going to multiply the 3 times the 6x to get 18x. We notice that the 2x and 18x are like terms, and we can combine them. And then we have to divide by 20 on both sides. We now have solved for one of our variables. But remember, our solution has to have both an x and a y in it, because it represents the ordered pair that's true for both equations. So now that we know x equals negative 1, we can substitute it back into the system to solve for y. So I'm going to substitute it back into y equals 6x. So y equals 6 times negative 1, and so y is negative 6. So my solution is negative 1, negative 6. All right, in this one, solve one of the equations 
in the system for either x or y. We notice the first equation already has y solved for. So that becomes our big box. Our little box is going to be the y that the x plus 9 is equal to. That's the substitution that we're going to make. So 3x plus 8 and big box gets substituted into little box. So 3x plus 8 instead of the y we have the x plus 9. Now we have to distribute that 8 across that x plus 9. So 8x plus 72 equals negative 5. Combine the 3x and the 8x to be 11x. Subtract 72 and divide by 11. We now know x is negative 7. So we can substitute, which is step 3, our answer here back into our equation. So y is equal to negative 7 plus 9. I'm using that value that we got from step 2 and plugging it back in. So negative 7 plus 9 is a positive 2. So our solution is the point negative 7, positive 2. This next problem is on your own. Notice that the first equation already has x solved for. So I want you to identify what your big box and little box would be here and then do the substitution. In our next problem, we have 2x minus 3y equals negative 11 and 2x plus y is equal to 9. Notice that neither one of those equations already has a variable solved for. So we have to look at the system and say, well, what would be easiest to do? What would be the most efficient? And we see in that second equation that y already has a coefficient of 1, so it really would be easiest to work with this second equation first. So we have 2x plus y is equal to 9. All we have to do to isolate the y is to move over the 2x. So to get y is equal to negative 2x plus 9. And that is going to become my big box. So now I'm going to plug in or substitute the big box into the little box. So I have 2x minus 3 times two, negative 2x plus 9 in substituted in for y. I have to make sure and distribute that negative 3. A negative times a negative here becomes a positive 6x. A negative times a positive becomes a negative 27. Combine like terms. 2x and 6x become 8x. Add 27 and divide by 8. So x is now 2. Now I need to substitute the 2 back in. So I'm taking the 2 that we found and substituting it into negative 2x plus 9. So that becomes negative 4 plus 9, which is 5. So our solution is the point 2 comma 5. This next problem is on your own. Look at the system and decide what equation would be easiest to perform step 1 with try to solve for one of the variables. This problem is also on your own. Notice that x is by itself. The last two problems here are special cases and we're actually going to do these together in class. So the first special case has the system 6x plus 3y equals 54 and 2x plus y equals 18. The second special case has x plus 5y is equal to 4 and 3x plus 15y is equal to negative 1. Make sure to have all of the examples written down. Make sure to um, do or at least attempt the on your own problems. Be prepared to ask questions in class.